Peace to everybody. This is uh, the Clock Hour. This is your host, Marv Kennel, a.k.a. I'm not a rapper. Welcome to the show. I got a couple of special guests on on uh, on board tonight. I got, um, this is uh, part two of the first show um, about uh, the submarine life with uh, a couple of my old submarine partners, um, one from one command and another from another command. I got two different submarine uh, cats on board today. Um, I'm talking to my man Kevin Baylor from my first sub and uh, my man Jason Best. Y'all saw him last time. Peace, brothers. How y'all doing, man? Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm good. I'm good, Marv. JB, good. you back. Another another go around, where? Yeah, man. I needed it, man. <laughs> all right, all right. It's all good, man. This is uh, basically to give people some type of idea on the life that we took upon to, to volunteer for the military. That's like when people say, well, thank you for your service. We volunteered for it. So thanking me is really, I don't, I don't really like that too much anyway. Um, I got a few questions for y'all, pretty much the same thing as uh, last time with you, JB, but uh, my man KB, um, I'm going to call him KB. His name is Kevin Baylor. I'll put his inform his uh, name in there uh, in a little while. But uh, Mr. Kevin Baylor, yes, when sir. did you realize that you needed to join the the military out of all branches, and why the Navy? <clears throat> well, uh, I was getting the hell away from my parents, to be honest. Uh, the life I was living with them was not the life I wanted to live. I got kicked out at, uh, I think, 17 years old. Uh, when I was living with my father in D.C., we used to watch fights. So the Sugar Ray Hagler fight was on at the Civ Civic Center in Atlanta. And, uh, you know, I had no idea that it would run past my curfew. I'm 17. You know, I don't, I don't know. I went to a live fight. I paid $25 for that ticket of, of my money. So I had to leave early, catch the bus home, I had to catch like two buses home. And when I got home two minutes past my curfew, my mom came upstairs and said, you got to go. So from that moment on, it was like uh, either March or May. I think it was March. Uh, I was living on the streets. I was living in um, south, I'm sorry, northwest part of Atlanta. A bankhead, for those who know, the bankhead area. And... Uh, I, I had a few good people around me, decent people around me. I saw where, uh, if I stayed there, where things were going. I was never that type of cat. I'm not no gangster. Don't want to be gangster. I'm not hard like that. I protect myself and defend what's mine. But that type of life wasn't for me. So it, when I was going to school, I went on and still graduated and did all those things on my own. But uh, when it came time and, you know, just working at a little fast food joint, I decided I wanted more. Uh, I met a young lady, and uh, we got married, and I went in the military and brought her up. So you were married when you when you joined the Navy? Yeah. Yeah, if I remember correctly. If, if, if it was, uh, it may have been after I came back from boot camp out of Chicago, but it, I wasn't, I wasn't single for too long when I was in there. It couldn't have been more than a few months. Right. Cause I know when I met you, you got to the boat in what, yeah. 88, 89? 88. Yeah. You were married. Yeah. That's what's up, man. JB, yeah. same question. Same question. Hey, first of all, first of all, JB, I commend you on your story, man. That's a, that's a real story. Yeah, I commend bro. you on that. Um, like I said before, I knew, that I was tired of school and where I grew up at, you know, I grew up in the projects, you know, and, and like KB, I wasn't no gangster. I never wanted to be a gangster. I wasn't a hustler. You know, um, I knew I had to eventually get away from there because that's what I would, that's where it would lead to, you know, drugs or something, just something stupid, you know, but like I said before, I had a brother, older brother, Bill, that was in the service. And, um, you know, he, he said some things to me, 
and you know he, he's my role model. I can't say I, I can't front on that. But the, the the kicker was when I went into this to the Navy. I wanted to be different. You know, what I mean, I wanted to follow his footsteps per se, but I wanted to be different. So right. uh, you know, he was on the he was on the um the uh, Eisenhower. That's a that's a carrier, and he was a machinist mate. So, and, I, and actually, I'm going to tell you the whole story. What happened, I started talking to the Army recruiter first. Yeah. But the Army recruiter started pressing me too much. Um, what, 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 one, one, one example is, I was supposed to meet him at school one day, and I, and I didn't make it to school. So he shows up at my house. And I'm telling this guy, what if I was cutting class, man? You'd have got me in trouble. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> so then, uh, b- besides that, he started getting my mother's nerves. You know what I mean? No, no. Once you strike my mother's nerves, that's that's a wrap right there. Right. You know. And and right. not to interrupt, but funny you say that because I was a recruiter from '93 to '96, and um, not to discredit them on how they operated or anything like that, but some of their people would come to my office to talk to me. You know what I mean? I was everywhere. I used to be everywhere. Um, the reason well, why before, I before joined you go, Mar- was... Uh, let, me, um, let, me, let me... Huh? Uh, before, you, before you go on, let me, let me go behind JB there and uh, uh, All right. tell you why I picked the Navy, the second part of your question. Right. Uh, I, was, I was at... Uh, my uh, parents wanted me when they, there was such a disconnect in the house. I'm not, Marv know my history as far as my parents go, but they wanted me to go in the military because they know I wasn't going to college because I didn't have the grades. But unlike some, you know, I, I actually like school. I, I like learning. I, but there has to be a payoff. I can't, I'm not a brainiac where I could just sit in the room and just study all day. That, that was the conflict. But anyway, they had me enrolled in this uh, boost program down at MEPS the military entrance processing station or something down in Atlanta. Right. And where they messed up at was they, they took me down there before work or before school and dropped me off. So I went the whole day in there. And then when it came time to raise my hand, I bounced. Oh, yeah. So, uh, you know, life went on or whatever, whatever, whatever. They was pretty upset and pretty mad, but, when I was, you know, same as JB was saying, when I got to the place where I had to make a decision on the direction of the path of my life, I went back down there and uh, it was some, well, I think she was, a, it, I know it was a white lady. I just don't know if it was a, a chief or an officer or what, but uh, I, it's really foggy. All I know is I sat in front of her. Uh, she had one of my, uh, I guess, the original paperwork from the from the time I had showed up before and she was impressed with the way I used check this out she was impressed with the way I used the comma in a sentence really and so really though that's exactly what she told me she said you know how to use uh, a comma after the word however in a sentence right and some kind of way I got on the submarines that's real talk I don't even remember that so you, cool. you went straight from MEPS to submarines? Yeah. What about you, Jay? Uh, kind of. Once I started talking to the recruiter, because actually this is what happened. I had the same exact Navy recruiter that my brother had. And this is five and, what, uh, four and a half years, five years difference. Right. You know what I mean? And, you know, I, I never knew anything about this sub. You know, I wasn't really into the water because I, I, I wasn't I wasn't a swimming type <laughs> dude, so I didn't care about none of that stuff. So naturally, I fell for all the I fell for the okie dog in a sense because he's saying so, right. and I right. want to be different right. than my brother. So I'm like, sound so sound good, you know what I mean? Plus like I told you, right? uh-huh. yeah, like I told you, like I told you yeah. uh, before, Marv, I'm more fearful of falling off of a ship on top of the water than I am sinking in the sub. You know what I mean? Right. I'm more fearful. I'm more fearful of that. So then, I, of course, start laying on on the on the heavy stuff. Like, oh yeah, y'all eat good. Y'all get this good stuff. Y'all get that good stuff. And you know, so I was wrapped up in it because I didn't know enough about the submarine period. You know, what I mean, all, all I thought about was 
going under the water. You know what I mean? I didn't. Well, I didn't. Me. I didn't discuss submarine duty with people that was joining the service because yeah. I got in. I volunteered from a school. I was in San Diego, and they said we need submariners on board. Submariners. And I was like, "We're sub school. Sub school is in Groton, Connecticut." I'm there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, yeah. That's why I didn't understand. Like nobody's sell, somebody's selling you on submarine duty from the recruiting station. You know. Yeah. Um, let me get to the let next me, question. Uh, um, let me let me stop. Let me let me add an answer right quick. Uh-huh. I, I came in under what they call the uh, the SAFE program. It was S A E F. It stood for Submarine Advanced Electronic Program. And what it was was, um, you know, with me that. being a radio man or whatever. It, it was it was radio man E T um, and the sonar check, I think. But you know, we we had to go to school to learn to work on our own equipment. So we had, a, right. you know, we came with with the electric uh, le electronic background. So that's what uh, reeled me in. Okay. Okay. Now, KB, back to you. Right. Major influences, both positive and negative, and how did that help you mold you into who you are today? Well, uh, first and foremost. You know, being 52 now, I've learned more about myself and um, my path that I took. I was never going to be anything other than someone who worked or went to school. That, that's that's who I am. So uh, major influences, uh, they, they were very small. I really didn't. Uh, other than self-motivation. I really didn't have any major influence. Now, when I once I got in there, you know, um, uh, big fellow, uh, Eugene Phillips. Right. Uh, he, he, he motivated me, but he motivated me in lines of, you know, hey, you can get out. You can go back to school. You know, he started schooling me on, you, you know, don't stay in. You stay in for 10 years. Don't throw those 10 years away. Things like that. And. Uh, you know, you got a wife and you got to think about kids and if sailing in your blood, I wouldn't do it and, and things of that nature. So um, I guess he was an influence. Of course, you and Marv was, a, you know, was an influence in that time because when I first enlisted and uh, was on the Hunley, the tender right next to the Phoenix. Yeah, man, I looked outside, brother, and I was like, what in the hell have I just done? <laughs> that is the first. I I broke down and cried, dog. I was like, "What in the hell am I doing? I'm right. gonna get on that thing." But when I when I seen you two guys, I immediately, immediately, almost instantly, man, I felt good. I felt I was like, you know, I, you know, I I got some people similar to me, basically right. brothers. Right. That's the way I, you know, I felt, and uh, it just it helped carry me through it. So those were some uh, influences, and I just. Uh, Tried to keep my motivation to see what, you know, hey, you know, KB, what you want to do, what you want out of do, what you want out of this. And the more and more I got closer to my, uh, what is it, the end date of your enlistment, I forget what they call it, e EOS or e terms of end of service, whatever the word they call it. But right. I just I just started realizing, man, you, you know, I don't really like being on the water. You know, Marv, you know how crazy I am about basketball. We went to damn sea for six months in the Mediterranean for um I missed the whole I missed the whole Chicago Bulls nineteen ninety two season. I think I got back in the finals like right at game once. I missed the damn near the whole season, all the playoffs. I was mad about I'm still mad about that. <laughs> I, I, you know, I used to record stuff. So it right. just wasn't the life for me, you know. I didn't want to have children in there. Dudes were coming back finding out their wife was pregnant, you know, they've been on a six month run and their wife is three months pregnant and all this stuff. So I, it just was not going to work for me the more and more I looked at it. And so uh, the negative part of, for me, for the Navy is if, 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 if you, if you don't have anything else or, or you like it, then you know, stay in. But if you, if you looking for something else, don't, don't be scared to get out there and try it. And I, you know, I remember uh, there was a lot of people trying to deter me from getting out 
including my wife at the time. Yeah. I, I didn't wait around for anybody to tell me or even talk me in or out of it. JB, what about you, man? Influences and um, uh, positive, both positive and negative. Excuse me. Um, positive, of course, I would say experience, but I would put opportunity first. Um, you know, to make that move is a is a big step. You know, what I mean, whether you know what you're doing or not. So once you once you step out there, you know, it's, it's almost like the sky's the limit. But I definitely am thankful for the fact that I was able to see um, the world, and and that you know, not not just physically, but the world me meaning you know, different cities, different cultures or whatever, because, you know, where I grew up at, everything looked good. <laughs> everything looks good. Like, you know, California was like the place to be. You know, you, once you make it to California, wow, you made it, whatever. So, yeah. number one, I would never have the chance, because I would never have the chance to go anywhere, because my, my first time on the airplane was going to boot camp. You know what I mean? That's my first time ever. Right. So, now to bring to bring California back into the mix. Now I was out there three years, plus you know the, the, the couple times we stopped in there before we got up, you know before I went back down there. Right. Um, California just like here, you know, I, just good, bad. You know what I mean? Right. People. Once you get past once you get past the good weather, <laughs> California yeah. just like anywhere else. Right. So and that's that's was, pretty much a lot of cities anywhere we yeah. went. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know. Uh, People that, that might have influenced you, good, bad, or positive. Good, bad, now, yeah, good, bad, or positive. Now, as far as, um, you know, other opportunities, you know, just to meet people. Like, this, you know, I met people in the Navy that I only saw on TV. I'm like, damn, people do that stuff in real life, you know what I mean? Right. And then, you know, like, when I, when I hooked up with you and P, you guys were like a, a brotherhood. So you 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 show me, well not just show me, but you were there at a time when I, I needed not just a friend, that's not just somebody that who to talk to or whatever, but I needed like a someone who I could bond with and and trust. You know what I mean? So yeah. I didn't have to go. So I didn't have to take on this whole sub life, whatever that part of my, my, my uh, military career. So I didn't right. have to do it by myself. You know, I, I had some some people. Right. That I can just, you know, here, man, hey, I'm I'm tired, man. One one of y'all gotta take the wheel or whatever, you know. However it was, and then then I could trust y'all enough that I that I could um we can accept get you back home. advice. Exactly. We can get I mean, you back. But, but yeah, yeah, definitely. But but just 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 to bl <laughs> believe in y'all enough to give me, you know, to accept your advice, you know what I mean? Cause yeah. you know, I can hear you, but I'm like, man, y'all y'all ain't saying what I want to hear. I'm gonna do what I wanna do, but I right. trusted you two enough at least to say, you know what, I know they won't let me down. Right. So it was uh, just like opportunities like, like that, man. You know, and then, it, then it helped me to see more about myself because I know I wasn't a military dude. Right. I know that no matter what, there is a line that I won't cross pertaining to myself that, you know, that maintains me. Right. Good, bad or different, military or not, you know what I mean? I'm not yeah. crossing this line. This is where, this is where wherever stops at and Jason Best starts. So right. I won't cross that line, you know what I mean? Dang. And so that, you know, and that, and that ultimately became a conflict with my, <laughs> with my military career because, you know, I, I still had to be myself. You know what I mean? KB. Yes, sir. Major roadblocks that you faced while you were in the Navy. Um, and how did you overcome them? Major roadblock. Um, I didn't really, I don't think I really, I think I went in at a good time. We all went in at a good time. I, I didn't really try to accomplish anything more. Right. I, uh, you know, we came to the boat as strikers. We, uh, you know, stayed on the Phoenix or whatever about a year and a half. And then we all chose our rate. And like I said, all all I didn't I didn't hate school. I I wanted to go to school, so I went up to uh, 
I enlisted, added two more years, and and went up to uh, Groton to uh, become a uh, FTG, fire control technician, or whatever it was, and uh, came back to uh, after that was over, came back to um, uh, Virginia, Norfolk, and uh, was on the Sunfish. So after that, you know, it was uh, basically riding out that little bit of sea time and uh, making a decision on where I wanted to go. Right. So, uh, so, so you didn't, you didn't I, pick up any shore duty or anything. No, nah, no, nah, I, I had, you know, basically, basically my freshman and sophomore year in there, which, which was on the Phoenix. And after that, I, I started, I say, you know what? I got other things on my mind, man. You know, I, I it's, this is, this is not for me. This was good to start. Right. I'm just happy that, uh, like, like uh, JB was just saying that I got a, you know, a couple of opportunities. And uh, you know, to be honest with you, Marv, you know me. They was happy to see me go, and I was ready to go. <laughs> so, look, I ain't gonna... you know. And then the funny thing, even with with me, was I know some of them was happy to see me go. You got to think we were. Young men, young men, 18, 19, 20, 21, you know what I mean? Um, that was, I always think of boys to men, you know, when I, when I think about it. Because um, that first submarine thing was some trying times, man. I mean, you know, even some of the situations that I got in and what, you know, I, I was destined for trouble. Um, but... After, you know, rocking with y'all for a while, it it kind of opened my eyes a little bit like, listen, you don't have to do it this way. You could do it this way. And then when I got to my second command, I seen all them brothers on board there. And I was like, hey, this is what it's supposed to look like. And and talking to them and seeing that a lot of them was very, very smart. These dudes were smart dudes, man. So I was like, this is all right. We which was no accident that all you brothers were on the same sub. I might right. speak out. Destiny. <laughs> yeah. You want to call or, it Destiny? Because I remember yeah. when, when you and Q got to the boat, I was like, oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that me was and Q a probably, trip, man. You know, and we probably it, felt like 50 brothers, but I mean, Marv, that, that, that's, that's some crooked stuff, man. On a submarine to get basically... All brothers on the submarine. JB, what you think about that? You don't think that was scripted? Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure, man. I'm not. Really? I'm not sure. Your your you, your screen went, Jay. Yeah, I'm still here. Somebody's calling me, man. I'm here. Can you see me? I mean, can you hear me? I hear you. We yeah, don't we see can you. Hear you. We can hear you. Uh, yeah, I'm still here. All right, I'm back. Scripted. I can't say I was just scripted. Find it, um, I just find let me, let me it, it, it went random. I don't know. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't know because I, I would have to say that um, there's only a handful of brothers in that in that service. At, period. So they got to pretty much do what they got to do with it. You know what I mean? And like the, the ball pretty much bounced where where it bounced at. Well, well okay. So you and Mar was on this sub, right? Together. Yeah, yeah but he, we was were, on, we he was on the crew. Blue Crew uh, when, I, when I, we, I first got to the Will Rogers. He was on the Blue Crew. So what happened was we combined crews. JB came with us. Some of his people. But when I first got to the Rogers, there was brothers in every department, literally. You know what I mean? And so then I, some of them I, left. How many... How many what percentage you would say of the of the crew was brothers? <laughs> I say less than ten, man. Well, when oh, we combine crews, less like than me. ten. But when I first got there, it had to be about fifteen to twenty percent. It was heavy. Yeah, no, I was speaking for the blue crew. Yeah, blue crew. Yeah, y'all was y'all was something else, man. The gold <laughs> crew. Nah, Mark. <laughs> Marv, you made it seem like it was like ninety percent brothers. Well, the whole you know why? Ship. Because if oh, you no. if you have not nah, if you have a brother in almost every department, 
You know what mm-hmm. I mean? It, it worked out. You know, so it not being a big number, but it was a great number. You know what I mean? We I had follow, there was I follow you. yeah. There was three of us in in food service, and then you might have had three p- torpedo men, um, a couple of radio men, More sonar presence. dudes. They was all over the place. Um, one yeah. dude, I see men, you know, and then you had um, some, there was a couple from back aft up there too. So, you know, the, the boat, it, it, had a, it had a nice balance to it from coming from the Phoenix to the Rogers. You know what I mean? I was like, wow, this hey. is cool. Even the Corman was a brother that a lot of people didn't like, but, you know, he got along with me. You know I'll what bring I mean? him when up, I'm, man. Huh? <laughs> Don't bring that dude up, man. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, H-A-B. He got along with me, though, man. You know what hey, I mean? H-A-B. Because when I first got there, he says, I couldn't tell what you were by your last name. You know what I mean? All right. Yeah, um, I this couldn't one, tell this what, what you were by your quick. last name. But Hey, at our, uh, at our, at the, at the crew changeover, Yeah, I uh-huh. was jealous, man. I was yeah. jealous, man, when I seen the, the, the gold crew. Right. I was like, that's where I need to be at. <laughs> right, right. No. <laughs> wow. Listen, you know? listen, fellas, I got to cut this off now, man. I appreciate y'all coming through, man. Um, I hated the technical difficulties at the beginning, but this is what it is, man. This is what I'm going to keep pushing. I'm pushing everything that I get my hands on. Uh, for the people, by the people, about the people. Like and subscribe and share the video. No doubt. Appreciate y'all. Will do, my brother. We'll nice, rap. Nice, we'll th- nice rapping with you, JB. Hopefully we can. And hey, nice rapping with you day, too, man. JB. No doubt, man. Yeah, we yeah. gonna we gonna bring this together, man. Peace, y'all brothers. Be JB. easy. You too, right. Mark. The clock hour. Later. On. Appreciate Later. it. Later. Sky thirteen. The clock hour. Thank you much. This is what we do. We good.